Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Silver Screen and Shield. My name is Matt. I'm Daniel. And I'm Ian. And today we're talking trailers this week on movies, and we're going to start off with the first big trailer, Sausage Party. It's by Seth Rogen, it's got Jonah Hill, it's got it's got a huge cast. It's got all of Seth Rogen's buddies in it, like always. Yeah, they're the, they're the heroic Adam Sandler group. Heroic. The friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, they're the heroic ones, there's Adam Sandler's kind of like the tragic ones. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Yeah, Adam Sandler's still funny. But uh, <laughs> the, f the thing I liked about this trailer was it started off and you really thought it was actually a kid's movie. <laughs> yeah. You really thought it was a kid's movie, and then they just start hacking away at that potato, and you realize this movie's pretty messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's got the really... It's, you know, it's a simple concept like, what if food was alive? And yeah. At the thought of it. Kind of like an adult Toy Story. <laughs> yeah! yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely an adult Pixar. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> it's so not that, Pixar, in, that, right. in that realm. Yeah, it's cool, because we're seeing more and more uh, trailers... I mean, uh animated movies that have been more adult like you're telling me about uh that one i forget what it was called yeah what else is there <laughs> there's what, there was that one that was up for an offer or something which one i'm trying to well that sucked um, <laughs> <laughs> there's been some more of those i've heard of any of <laughs> I, I, oh, Anna Melisa. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It took me a second. Yeah. Hey, he there burned you. More. He burned you. He didn't have your back. Because I, I was thinking like R-rated comedy. It's like, no, that's not good. It's like a more serious animated movie. Oh, yeah. I'm just talking about adult themes oh. in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, I got you. Yeah, there, there, you there it is. But, uh, it. yeah, so it's an interesting mm. concept. And now, now that we're talking about it, there's not been a lot of adult comedy animation. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. this is bringing in the adult comedy aspect. My personal favorite part of the trailer is when the sugar bag falls, and it seems like they're having like a war time like oh, yeah, bomb, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like, and like yeah. the spaghetti's trying to put its spaghetti yeah. back yeah. in the can and stuff like that. I think it was like supposed to be like Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, totally. <laughs> supposed yeah. To saving trying to get his arm. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was. I thought it looked like a really good movie. Yeah, I think it's funny. Uh, you know, there's actually I've heard that there's been a lot of outrage at this trailer already because <laughs> really? Seth Rogen is like the man there. They're hot dogs, and then like the women are the buns, and though, especially because the way they look, um, and it's like it's it's anti women because women are just a place to put your hot dog. <laughs> I'm like, oh come on, it's just a it's the movie. It's a cartoon. It's you give him credit movie. for looking that deep into it. People look deep into anything if you give them credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, put the yeah. hot dog real deep into that one. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think it's really funny. Um, I also like uh, the way it acts like. Compared to how humans see things to how the food sees things. Yeah. So we're, we're uh, it's like the baby carrots, like, we need a ride. <laughs> and then she just has their back turned to the counter and they're like slowly rolling. Yeah, how they always do that. Yeah. <laughs> she just kind of catches yeah. that. That part was really funny. And then when they show her <laughs> eating the carrots, they're like, ah! Oh, that's, that part was like kind of morbid for me. I was like, holy oh, shit. Like they're crying yeah, out for their mom insane. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that was so fucking bad. When's that coming out? Uh, it's coming out like well, that was like a teaser. Right? I, yeah, I think it's it's way down the line later, probably towards the end of this year. I know that they uh, at South by Southwest they did a, a showing of like the movie that's like not quite done. Mm -hmm. I think like they show you what's fully animated, and then the rest is like kind of storyboarded out. I think that's how they did it. Oh, cool. So they they had like showings of that, and I think it's been. Paid I wouldn't want to go to something like that though. Because then you know the whole movie. Yeah, and you I saw agree. The, you saw yeah, the, yeah, shitty, the, the finished product. Yeah, you yeah. I totally agree. It's, it's a cool idea, though. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I, would, I don't want to see the finished product first, but I think it would be cool to see that kind of showing second. Mm -hmm. So you could see how they got there, you know, seeing storyboarded things like, oh, wow, so that became that. It's a good special features. Yeah, feature. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think that'd be really interesting. Uh, I hope I hope they make more things like that. Like I mean, I know they're starting to. Oh, yeah. This think, is definitely going to help the ball get rolling because Seth Rogen just... So big, so... Yeah, adults need cartoons, too. <laughs> yeah, we love them. <laughs> we still need them. Um, so, so is that pretty much it for Sasha's Fest? Um, <laughs> I thought it looked really good. I think it was really almost fascinating to watch these food get eaten and, like, crushed. and It just looked cool. Yeah. And it just yeah. looked really, fa like, just fascinating. Yeah, yeah like, it's, a, it's, it's a really clever idea. Yeah. I mean, it's the same concept as, like, the toys, like we were saying before. Yeah, Toy Story. yeah. So it's a super clever idea. Right from the start of the trailer, like I didn't, well, I didn't know what it, well, I didn't know Seth Rogen had anything. Well, I knew he had something to do with it, but I didn't know if it was like a kids' movie or not. And I was watching, and I was like, "All right, first of all, it's called Sausage Party. This is gonna install like yeah. a bunch of us. Like, all right, we know what that means." <laughs> and then the hot, actually, I had to catch on the hot dog bun thing at first, and I was thinking, "They're gonna really have this in like a kids' movie? That's very weird. Like, I don't understand." And then I think. Well, yeah, once the potato got peeled, he goes, oh, fuck, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> now I know what we're getting into. 
No, it looks really good. I'm mm. actually kind of excited for it. It yeah, looks really yeah. interesting. Very different. And that's what we need now. Because like we've, been, like we've always talked about, there's just a lot of trailers, sequels, mm -hmm. remakes. Trailers was the first thing I said. <laughs> there's just a lot of sequels and remakes that have been made. So it's cool when you get an original yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Um, we're starting to see a lot more R-rated ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deadpool... <laughs> I'm not gonna say Deadpool started R rated movie, it helped. but it's helping it like it's, it's, it's making studios know it's making studios know that they could make money. Yeah, because I think a big problem, a big worry with studios making R rated films is that they don't think they're gonna make as much money. You know, because mm -hmm. it really yeah, that's that's why PG thirteen films are kind of heavy because that's I think it's been known that PG thirteen well, for like yeah, it's popular rated. get edgy, but yeah, that's why a lot of horror movies are PG thirteen too. Yeah, exactly. Because you know it. A lot more people can go see it, yeah. and it's more that demographic. Teenagers. Yeah. I think uh, <clears throat> that this movie is interesting because it's such a new concept. Mm -hmm. You know, like food. Uh, but I think, another thing I think that would be interesting about it is because it's like food, giving life to food. Yeah. If, if it'll give either, people would be like, oh, I think I'm going to be vegetarian after this movie. Oh, yeah, or like, right. I'll be vegan or I'm not going to eat anything. Yeah, those characters, yeah, food is about that. those characters are still getting fucked up. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I, I feel like someone could, would still try and fight for that. Like, see, your food is alive. <laughs> you know what's funny, too, kind of shitty at the same time is there's really no happy ending for these guys because even if they escape, they're just going to go rotten. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, I think I think that might be a part like they'll know. It's like you either die getting eaten or you die rotten. Yeah, like, I'm it's sure true. We'll find something like so that. it's pretty, pretty dark, but it'll be really funny. It's it's got the like you said the, the Seth Rogen crew. Yeah, so that's and that's um, they're even if it's mediocre, it'll still be you know it'll still be a lot of laughs, which is always good about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good thing about like you, you could say like a joke is stupid, like oh it's so stupid, but you're gonna laugh at it. You mm -hmm. know, it'll it'll get you a lot of laughs. I think it'll be popular when it comes out. Yeah, uh, yeah, told, it's going to be huge when it first comes out. Especially for those kids that are just wanting to sneak into the theater and stuff yeah. like that. Especially like since it's that group of, that that cast, you know, that broad range. Yeah. Of, I just think of how This Is The End was that broad of a cast. Mm -hmm. you know, it had everybody mm -hmm. in there. And that, that was a pretty popular movie. I liked that movie a lot. I thought yeah. it was really funny. I thought the movie was going to suck, too. I thought it was going to be shitty. I remember seeing it, and I was like, this looks fucking dumb. And we went to go see it in the movie theaters, and I was like, this is actually really, really That's funny. Really, yeah, it was really, it was really well pleasantly really surprised. Funny. And this movie probably no exception. Yeah, I'm hoping. Probably really good. Mm, yeah. Yeah, Does DreamWorks or anything? Is no, I think it's a separate animation house. I don't think DreamWorks or Pixar would want to make something weird. Yeah. Trails. It's gonna be a lot of confusion for parents. It's like taking the kids, <laughs> and, you know what I mean? Like they've not seen. They're gonna the see trailer. the poster and be like, "Oh, okay," and then go see it and be like, "Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on what here?" Yeah. Watching. Uh, I got some I mean, hot dogs in the buns to Timmy. <laughs> Timmy is a good, like, little kid's name. <laughs> yeah, it's just going straight there. All right, so yes. should we go Creative Control now? Yeah, so let's talk about the Amazon-produced film uh, Creative Control. Uh, you saw it first. You told us about it. Oh, so. yeah. So it seemed like the we used to watch a different trailer together, but the first trailer mm -hmm. I watched was just completely Reggie Watts, like, doing his beatboxing, and then there's he was telling the story. But it seems like they make an animated uh they have glasses and you're able to use your imagination to imagine anyone with you and talk to people, I believe, is what was going on. Boy. And so... That would be dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's, it shows the dangers of it because the there's the guy who created it and his wife and she's imagining a dude and she's like having sex That's with what I was saying. dude I, yeah, and like, like he's pissed off about that but he's having dreams about his best friend's girlfriend and so... He feels like he's actually in love with his best friend's girlfriend, and that's when he goes to her, and then in this trailer, his friend comes up and hits him because it's like, you don't really know who she is, this is just someone you're projecting, which is kind yeah. of, now that I'm talking it out, it's kind of, it's deep, <laughs> like, yeah, it's, because like, that's how a lot of people feel like now, like they, they see these people on Instagram or on Tumblr, and they really feel like they know these people, and they fall in love with the idea of this person, but you don't know who the fuck they are. Like, no, it's true. Yeah, it's really so, big on falling, falling in love with the idea of a person. Yeah, so yeah, so now that I thought about that, just while talking it out, it's, it seems like a pretty good idea for. No, it is. Yeah. It is a good idea. We're getting a lot more of those, uh, those kind of movies now. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we had her. Her was kind of mm -hmm. somewhat similar to that. We're getting yeah, a lot totally of in the same realm. Artificial right. intelligence. Uh, just Ex how Machina. much. Do you guys yeah, 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 it's a great movie. Just how like. Like you say, like social media and like Instagram and stuff, how you fall in love with like maybe an image. Yeah, of, that's kind of what yeah. It's, into, a, it's right? a very yeah. shallow just yeah. feeling, and 
you feel like it's actually deep when that it's not. That would be just yeah. so dangerous. Can you? Men wouldn't leave their house. They would just like <laughs> sit there and just fuck these holograms all day. It'd be ridiculous. Like, it'd be a terrible. Uh, I mean, it'd be a great idea, but at the same time, it's a terrible idea. It's like that. Uh, did you see that that Futurama episode? That really old Futurama no. episode. Fry makes uh, like he needs a girlfriend, so they make a robot. Like they have these blank robot shells. That you make into a celebrity, and he yeah. makes it into Lucy Liu. Oh, okay. And like they tell you like, that exact same thing. Like when you, if guys fall in love with robots, it's the end of the world because you know nothing yeah. would happen. Yeah, exactly. That's all they would do. Yeah. It's a really funny. <laughs> <of> the show. <laughs> Shit, nothing, nothing would get done. <laughs> it's a scary idea. Yeah, but yeah, this podcast would be getting made right now. <laughs> <laughs> be no. just him sitting on the couch. <laughs> <right now. laughs> <laughs> but um <laughs> no but like we like you're saying there's a lot of movies that are being made like this and i feel like the fascination with technology and the the things that are kind of scary about technology it's helping create a lot of original ideas yeah so yeah. It's, it's cool to see this um i mean obviously when you look at the trailer too it's gonna be kind of funny i when I, there was reggie watts is doing the one that i saw there's gonna be a lot of drug use and a bunch of all this other stuff right. so you know some other stuff to kind of spice up the film yeah. but now that we kind of talk about it more when i first after first watching it i wasn't sure i completely understood what was going yeah, on either. it was a lot to take in they had it had a lot of quick cuts and a lot of like a lot of things were happening fast so it, yeah. it was kind of hard to take it all in for a second but like talking it all out yeah no talking it out actually it. makes you understand it was, it was really cool it's interesting that it's in black and white yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. another good like you don't see that a lot. I think the artist and then the mix like the technology with black and white. That's always a fun thing to do. Oh, that's a good tr contrast. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't yeah. think about that right away. You uh, got that. No, <laughs> keep on talking about this. Is actually helping us nice because we were all pretty confused while watching the yeah, trailer. Yeah, that trailer was kind of was kind of off, and then yeah. figuring out it's like, oh yeah, so that's what he was doing. I think that's cool. The whole like AI yeah, thing. I think it's like making fun of like Google Glass. You know, everyone's like, oh yeah. Google Glass was gonna be like really cool. Like, oh, I have I have glasses that show me this stuff. <laughs> but really, it was just creepy and people got in fights over it so can yeah. you imagine yeah and i'm even thinking like people i wonder if you could like in real life you could like sue like you know you don't want to like <laughs> you don't want someone you don't want someone thinking banging about... your hologram or something you know what i mean yeah. like it's kind of weird it's... Yeah, it's it's an invasion of privacy yeah, yeah. that'd be interesting that's yeah. a good good concept for a movie it looks interesting did anyone know when it come out i didn't check i didn't check with that either okay. well, then... we watched it kind of fast and it was i think it was we were just thrown off by Things it were happening yeah, yeah. So, looks good though. But yeah, I'm glad we had a lot of good stuff to talk about that on. I think let's move in next to the next trailer, uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Try saying that ten times fast. <laughs> we definitely got Matt to say that because we knew he was the only one that could nail it. So um, yeah, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> yeah, because oh, have you? Uh, it's based on the uh, best-selling book by Ransom Riggs. Have you guys read it? Right. No, I've no. <laughs> <laughs> Better say the title. I haven't read it either, but I've, I know it's really popular. Um, Ransom Riggs is a good author. Uh, it looks really interesting. It looks like almost like uh, because it's like it's like a home for kids with different kind of abilities. I kind of get the X Men kind of vibe, yeah. and Miss Peregrine's kind of like their Professor Xavier. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, well, definitely because you said it, it's filmed by Tim Burton, right? Yeah, it's a Tim Burton. I mean, movie. watching the uh, the trailer coming from the very beginning when they dive into the uh, ocean and sh she breathes the bubble and it goes around the guy and he's able to breathe underwater. I, I just got a huge, like, big fish. It mm -hmm. yeah, felt yeah. very big fishy. Yeah. It, like, totally yeah. it totally did. It totally did. Even the, the colors of, like, the of uh, how it was shot, too, the colors of the trailer, it totally gave yeah. me the big fish it, kind of vibe. It's cool. Right. The cool thing with Tim Burton is you totally know that it's a Tim Burton movie every time he makes it. Yeah. And that's, it's nice when people are able to put their stamp on things like that. And Johnny Depp's not in this, so that's... That's fun. weird. Or, or <laughs> Helen Bonham Carter. Well, they're getting a divorce now. So. They're divorced, so. Oh, maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's why she's not in it. And that's why she why, totally would have been in it. That's maybe why Johnny Depp isn't in it either. <laughs> but yeah, it looks really oh, interesting. You're uh, saying that Johnny Depp was in. Well, let's. Um, we're talking about this movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it looks really interesting. Uh, all the kids have like crazy things. You have the one girl that has like the mouth in the back of her head. Yeah. That's like crazy. And then you have like the doll children. Mm -hmm. That was cool. And then they break up the bear and they, so they can share. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, you have the girl that had. It looked like she had like. Metal boots. Like metal boots or something. So she can be so she could, Yeah, then she could fly. She could that was interesting. Um, I think it's Asa Butterfield who plays like the main guy in the trailer. He was almost Spider-Man. He was one of the guys that, that everyone thought he, was going to be Spider-Man. What was he in? What else has he been in? Uh, Ender's Game. He's That's what, Ender's yeah. Game, I, yeah. I, I recognize the face. I just didn't know. I hope it, I'm saying the right name. Cause I, know, I know he was one of the guys from for, that was in the running for Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And he was, I think he was almost Spider-Man. Like I think they announced 
he was Spider Man, and then they were like, everyone's like, oh, this guy's Spider Man, this guy's Spider Man. Like, no, I'm just kidding, it's this guy. No, just Tom Holland. Okay. And I was like, what? That was weird. That's uh, that would suck to be that guy. No, but he looks like he's a really good, a uh, really good choice for this. You know, he's kind of has that <laughs> awkward feel, which seems like it would be it moves well with the movie because. You know, all these other kids that are, have these crazy powers are pretty awkward. Just like at the dinner thing when she wants to eat the uh, food in the back of her head. Yeah. She feels uh, embarrassed to do it in front of company. But he's like, ah, it's cool. But he looks awkward in it himself, so it's a yeah. good hero for the Yeah, I, I got a lot of different book vibes from this movie. Like, when they tell him he has to be, like, the protector of them all. I had, like, a total feel of, like, Percy Jackson mm. kind of deal. Like, he's, he's pitched to be, like, the savior of this whole kind of realm. Mm -hmm. I got that, and then like the weirdness of it, of things like that, gave me a total um, series of unfortunate events I kind of vibe. Got that too. Yeah, uh, even though the movies weren't the movie was movies movie wasn't that <laughs> great, uh, but it had that kind of vibe to it too. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see like these different kind of. It feels like a book movie. Mm -hmm. which, yeah, it totally which does. I mean that's not a bad thing. Yeah, it but totally it totally does. has the feel of all these different books, and it's interesting because I I should probably read the book then. It kind of has me got me hooked to try and maybe read the book. Mm, okay. And see it yeah. before or after the movie, whichever. I, I like reading the books after the movie. Yeah. If, if I ever read the books. <laughs> but yeah, it looks interesting. Like I, I'm interested to see what the bad guys were. I wonder if it's like I wonder if it's like either just people with abilities that are mean, or if it's kind of like a a jumper kind of thing. They're people that don't want. The yeah, kind of like around. the angry white man doesn't like weird things, so he yeah. goes after. We don't. Him. We don't. <laughs> we don't like weird stuff, <laughs> so that we don't just know kill why. things. But, um, or if it's actual, supernatural... Yeah, like uh, supernatural, other other people with those kind of things, like, fighting each other. Uh, then it will totally have another X-Men kind of feel to it. Yeah. yeah I, I think that's totally interesting, so... Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is definitely worth checking out. Hopefully it yeah. comes out. It looks like a good movie. Yeah, so I think the next trailer we got is The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring. The Conjuring 2. And I can't believe there's only been two of those. Yeah, because they. Yeah. That's directed by James Wan. Uh, let's see, following up from the Conjuring, the first Conjuring movie. Actually, I think what's funny is that you think there's only two, is because they remember in the first Conjuring there was that little doll mm -hmm. thing. There was that, and then they made that like its own spin off movie. That's Annabelle. what's going on? Okay. Yeah, that's what's going they on. They made that Annabelle, and then that doll thing came back again in that. What? what? That one Marlon Wayne's movie, I don't remember what it was, I think it was a Haunted House 2 or something like that. <laughs> that yeah, that, I think that, that was a spoof. I don't think that was in the continuity. Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm not saying it is. I'm saying, but, like, the doll is a part oh. of the movie, so it's like, you've seen it a bunch of times, okay. even though there's only been one Conjuring. I was confused with that and Insidious. Yeah, and, and you know what? Conjuring and Insidious. You know why yeah. it probably also feels like there's been a bunch? Because it always says, from the people who brought you the Conjuring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I'm hearing that. That movie really blew up. I remember when the first one came out, it really blew up. Everyone was, like, going nuts over it. I thought it was all right. It was whatever. It's mediocre. But everybody was really digging it, which is funny, because it just seemed like all the other fucking <laughs> horror scary, movies. Yeah. You know what's funny about those movies, though? What? They're really not scary until you're, like, totally, completely alone in the dark watching them. I watched Insidious the other day, just, like, by my... I don't really get scared of scary movies, ever. I was sitting it and watching it by myself, and I was like, okay, I'm getting kind of scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, probably Conjuring 2 will be like that, but uh, it looks okay. I don't know. Horror movies are just the same shit. I want to find a different time. kind of... I, someone needs to find a different kind of horror trope that's not the the demon that's obviously going to be hard to kill deal. Because mm. I, I think that's been totally overplayed so many times already. Paranormal Activity had the right idea of making it that... Uh, in, the, in the story of Paranormal Activity, the demon just followed her... So you didn't have the excuse of leaving the house. Yeah. And I think a lot of movies are uh, trying to do that now. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's following you. Because yeah. that makes more sense. Because it's like, just get out of the fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that makes a lot more sense. And that's, that is, you know, it's running. You need to find something different. That's why I thought, um, I saw the, the Witch not too long ago. I did too. And that was, I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. That was a whole different interesting That was concept a completely different horror movie. And it was good. Yeah, so people need to take more just chances trying to, you know, think outside the box of the whole... Oh, uh, well, you're gonna need something scary. What's scarier than demons? Because no one really understands demons. We got it. <laughs> Two million dollars. <laughs> Too many cliches. Oh, you know what I want to touch upon back on yeah. that other movie? Sure. What, what was the one you were just talking about? The Witch. No, the other one before that. What were you just talking about? Insidious? No. no Card no. No, not even any of the horror movies. The last movie we previewed. Oh, Miss Peregrine's Home. Yeah. Bridge. And this kind of <laughs> involves horror movies, too. I'm so done with the, the, in, the piano over the trailer you know what i'm talking oh, about yeah. where okay. they play like a soft song over the trailers god can you get rid of that please 
just get, just get rid of it. Just do something different. How else are they supposed to put you on edge? <laughs> it's not working. I'm not on edge. I just, I'm just, I, every time I hear those, I'm just sitting there thinking, can they please stop? Can they just figure something else out? They do with action movies, too. How about soft guitar? No, it's like the same thing. <laughs> any soft, kind of soft, soft sh any kind of soft string. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. Let me it's part making it. you soft thinking about it. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> soft covers of popular pop songs. Oh, that's the okay. The best one was words. "Spring Break" by James Franco. Yeah, but that wasn't it. in the trailer. I know, but yeah. it was just saying that was. The best and another one. cliche going back to Conjuring Two is the uh, uh, everything's loud. It's fucking loud in the theater, and you're sitting there and you're thinking, "All right, I've seen all this before." And then yeah. it gets really quiet. Something's gonna pop out. God, we gotta get rid yeah, of that. Yeah, jump one too. scares. Please stop with jump scares. <laughs> Especially so... jump scares of stupid shit that you totally put in there to scare us, where it's like, um, any any horror movie recently, it's like, oh, I'm walking down the street and bird. <laughs> and it's like, no one's fucking scared of a bird, but you're putting, you're, the way you're setting it up just to be, make us scared of a bird. It's just, it's me off. cheap. It's, yeah, it's, it's cheap. I think it's insulting almost. What's it's funny, like, they'll what's be funny scared of anything. It's when we were watching it, you pointed. Of where the guy was gonna come when? Oh yeah, because I was like, it's obvious. Yeah. You knew, yeah. Anything it's popping out? It's completely out. obvious. And jump scare. It's be it's it's kind of like how in scary movies when somebody's like washing their face, and they look in the when the and then oh. the cabinet and there's some <laughs> asshole. Oh yeah, it. or they like open it and yeah. close it. Yeah. So or the lightning, and then there's someone not there, and then there's oh, someone there. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 So those, my God, it's like a horror we've movie. Had guys. enough. <laughs> Seriously, we had all that. Down. I don't know what. Idiot living under a rock is still s whoa that got me you know what I mean yeah. like I don't know who's still getting shocked by these things. Well, I kind of like I kind of like looked over like what's going on. I kind of thought the thing stopped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know who's still getting scared of those things, but you need to me. cut it out. No, you're not. Yeah. All right, so that's yeah. That <laughs> but wait for but for the the movie itself, I really hope it is good because I know the conjuring the first conjuring really like put people. On their ass, really scary. I liked them. the first Conjuring. I'll admit it. It was it wasn't bad. It was better than most the horror movies. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope it's good. I actually think James Wan is a good director. I think he makes. I think he actually makes pretty good movies. He did the first Saw, which was I really like. The liked. first Saw was really. Did good. he do Insidious too? I don't know if you didn't see. Not, not Insidious two. Oh, Insidious, Insidious also. Yeah, he did do Insidious. Okay. And yeah. I actually liked Insidious. I thought that was actually a good movie. I thought that was a good movie. Insidious was... made that Tiny Tim song even more creepy. Oh, the SpongeBob song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, they played the SpongeBob. I promise you. <laughs> and Tiny Tim was a spooky fellow himself when he was here. Uh, yeah. He was here. Well, not here, but when he was oh, alive. <laughs> So I I always root for these movies. Hopefully yeah, we're totally. Good. Yeah, it's. I hopefully it'll be really good. Yeah, because we need different. a good we need a good scary movie. The witch was yeah. good, but I would like you know another one to be good. Why not another? Let's get, <laughs> let's get two going. Yeah. Let's get on a roll here. Yeah, you can't just have one movie be good. So it's Conjuring Two. I'm Conjuring sure everybody two. will see it. and It'll make a shit ton of money. Yep, mm -hmm. that's how they horror movies usually work. Oh, yes. That's why they crank them out like nothing. Yeah. All right, so that's. That's it for trailers, right? That's it for movies. Now we'll move on yeah. to our Netflix picks. Yeah, Netflix pick. Who wants to start us off? Um, oh, I'm starting off with Flaked, um, the new Will Arnett show. That's on Netflix. It's about him living in Venice and being a piece of shit. Um, Will Arnett. He's, oh. he's a guy who's just continually... Uh, he has this best friend that he lives with, and um, they know each other because his friend moved abroad, and then Will Arnett moved into his mom's house, and they still live in his mom's house in Venice. It's... Well, like you guys don't really need to know that, but he's always swooping on his friends, chicks and stuff. Okay. And he's this ex alcoholic who runs this AA pro who helps run this AA program. But um, he's always drinking wine out of this. Like he has this thing at home. It's supposed to be a healthy drink, but he pours wine into it, and he's always drunk. It's funny. It's really dry humor. Um, but it's a really funny show. And we'll learn. I love Will Arnett, and so does Netflix, obviously. I mean, yeah, he's, he's got, got a lot of shows. He's got Arrest Development, BoJack Horseman, and now Flaked. And um, I, I, I just think it's a, it's a show definitely worth worth watching. It's only 30 minutes of your time, so it's easy to just How many crank them out. Have it up? I believe there's eight. Okay, so there's not, there's not a lot. It's only four hours worth of film. So, yeah, no, it's a really good show. I haven't finished it all the way, but if you're, if you're into a guy being a dickhead and losing and kind of winning sometimes <laughs> it's a it's a good show to watch yeah all right yeah definitely check it out so no 30 for 30 this week no 30 for 30 this week <laughs> 30 for 30 on flake that's what <laughs> 30 for 30 with Lauren that's drinking <laughs> yeah so definitely flake definitely we're checking that out okay i think my pick 
for this week is going to be Psych. That was one of my favorite series uh, when it was on. It's about uh, this guy. He's uh, kind of going nowhere, but he kind of joins the police force saying he's a psychic. <clears throat> you ever seen it? Yeah, uh, I didn't like it. You didn't like it? <laughs> <laughs> right. I like it a lot. I think it's actually really funny. He liked it. I did, I did, I did like it. Um, so basically he's... He also does like scrubs. So. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like scrubs. Uh, but yeah, he's pretending to be a psychic, and really all he's doing is he's being a detective. He has like a super keen eye for like checking out crime scenes and stuff like that, and he just pretends they're like psychic visions and how he's able to predict who the killer is or who what's going on in a certain kind of crime. And it's also got... Um, how do you, uh, what's his name? Dooley Hill, the guy that was uh, the I Can Fix It guy from Holes. He's really, <laughs> he, he's, he, yeah, he, he's his, uh, he's his best friend who like knows he's full of shit, but he's just kind of going along with him and yeah, helping him out. It's a pharmaceutical rep. He's got a real job. Yeah. <laughs> but then he helps him out. They're just yeah, buddies. <laughs> so it's a really funny show. I think, I think the entire series is on Netflix now. It is. So yeah, it's, it's totally worth like watching through and it's, it's got a lot of funny things. And one thing I really like about it is the opening theme song. There's there's certain episodes where they actually, like, uh, they have, like, a special episode where, like, they say it, like, in a kind of Western like, country kind yeah. of thing. Or, like, they do it in, like, an acapella uh, well, barbershop weird. quartet kind of way. What's well, weird is the reason they can do that is the guy who created that show, his band is the one that sung that song. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's their song. Yeah. Sung that song. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think it's yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. It's I, it's it's you know I got, I'm glad I saw it on Netflix the other day because it's like I really liked that show. It was on, so it's like check it out. That is beyond up his alley. So yeah, I, know, I love that. Show. That is I love everything. Perfect though. show for him. Yeah. <laughs> that horny, that yeah. TNT comedy hey, vibe. It's USA. <laughs> yeah, it's USA. <laughs> it's more than TNT. Well, I'm saying that like. No, I know what you're saying. I just saying that uh that kind of brand of comedy. Yeah. <laughs> At least you don't watch like NCIS or. I'm not seventy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh this boy. Is... Okay, my Netflix pick is going to be Amadeus, the movie from 1984, Amadeus, Amadeus. based off of. <laughs> uh, based off of Mozart's life, based off the the stage play of the same name. It's really good. If you have a couple hours of your time, it's really worth checking out. The acting is really good. It won a ton of awards, and it was yeah. nominated for even more. Um, yeah, check it out. Yeah, I remember when I was in choir, we watched that, and I was like, oh, it's a movie about Mozart, I don't really care. But when we watched it, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's a really good movie. It's, 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 one of the it's most long, popular, especially on Netflix. They have the like the real long edition on there. So it's it's, it's pretty long, but <laughs> if, you sit, if you just sit there and watch it, it's really good. It's really entertaining. It's obviously fabricated. I don't think any of that happened, really. Other than Man, he made songs, it? no, I really yeah, I don't know, that. I don't know how. I don't well. think even even his like rival who tells the story from his point of view, they don't even think they're really rivals in real life. I think they're actually good friends, but it makes for a good movie and it makes yeah. for fun. So yeah, I don't think there's a lot. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of well written down stuff about Mozart's life, but not like to the T. You know, yeah, like, I think it was well, just, he, he all they got right was he was a guy, he made music, and he died mysteriously. So that's that. So, Amadeus, Psych, and 30 for 30 with Will Arnett. <laughs> <laughs> or Flake, just if you want to be yeah. about it. If I ever do a 30 for 30 again, you know I haven't launched anything. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that does it for our Netflix picks. And don't forget to check out the trailers for Creative Control, The Conjuring 2, Sausage Party, and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar and Children. tune in next week for our movie edition when we talk about Batman versus Superman. Yeah, it's definitely going to be worth checking out. Catch you later. We'll definitely talk about that.